This section contains a short tutorial on mortgage financing. As a seller, you may be wondering why financing matters to you, but it does. So there's three different, ma there's three major types of financing. There's conventional financing, which you borrow money directly from a bank and usually requires 20% down. There's FHA financing, which you borrow money from a bank or a mortgage company, and the government is backing that loan and it only requires 3.5% down. And then there's VA financing, and that's specifically for veterans that have served in the armed forces. And that requires zero down. So a vet can buy a house with, having not, with, with not having to put any money down. Now, the differences in the three types of financing are, of course, the money down. So in conventional financing, the bank wants 20% down. And the reason for that is they want you to have a stake in the game. They want you to have money into the deal so that you're less likely to get foreclosed on. A lot of banks will take less than 20% down. These days, I've even run into some banks that are taking as little as 3% down. But if you put less than 20% down, it requires private mortgage insurance. And private mortgage insurance can cost anywhere from 0.75 to 1.5% of the contract price per month. Um, once you pay the house down, so you have a 20% stake in it, you can have that private mortgage insurance drop off. An FHA loan is, a, is when you borrow money from a bank and then the government is backing that loan. FHA loans require 3.5% down. The thing with FHA loans is they have a more strict appraisal process. So FHA loans, the appraisers are specially trained to look for certain things in the house to make sure that it's safe, sanitary, and structurally sound. The idea behind that is, is since the government's backing that loan for you, they want to make sure you don't buy a piece of crap and then move in and then decide you don't like the house and then move out and the government gets stuck with the foreclosure. You may have heard of HUD homes, Fannie Mae, foreclosures, things like that. That's what those are. The third type of financing is a VA loan. VA loan is specifically for veterans that have served in the armed forces, served their country. A vet can buy a house with nothing down as long as they qualify for VA financing. So a VA loan is the same as an FHA loan when it comes to the appraisal. There is a certain amount of good condition that they want the house to be in before they'll let the loan go through. Now what happens in both a FHA and a VA loan is that the appraiser will come through, he may appraise the house and say the value is okay, but he may have what we call conditions and that's things that, that he wants to have fixed before the loan will go through. Generally, if a seller being you accepts VA, FHA or VA financing, it's understood that the seller will take care of those things that the buyer, that the, that the, that the, that the appraiser wants fixed. So if you only accept conventional financing, you don't have to worry so much about those strict appraisals. If you want more offers, if you want more exposure, if you want more people to have an opportunity to buy your house, then you might want to accept all three of those. And there's really no problem with FHA or VA appraisals as long as your house is in good condition. And if all the things that you go through in this section about preparing your home for the market, if, if, you, if you do all that stuff, then your home should be just fine. Now, on, attached to FHA loans, there are, others, there are other types of loans. Certain banks have specials that they'll do like first-time homebuyer programs that require no money down. Those are FHA loans. USDA rural loans which is a program that the government came up with to try to get people to move back out to the country um, into smaller towns. And those are, those are loans that require no money down, but they have a really strict appraisal process also. So as you're going through your contracts, that's just one thing, I mean, through your offers, that's just one thing that you want to keep in mind is the financing. You may have three offers that the prices are identical. There are, none of them are asking for any concessions but one might be a conventional loan, one might be FHA, and one might be VA. Keep in mind that while VA loans are harder to get through because of the appraisal process, you're also helping out a vet. I happen to specialize in, in vets on, in my business, in my real estate business. So I'm constantly writing letters and writing notes to sellers, explaining to them why they should accept VA, uh, why they should accept uh, a, an offer from a vet. Because they're harder to get through, a lot of times sellers are reluctant to do that. But if you want to help out a vet, if you truly want to thank a vet for his service, then really consider accepting their offer. Other than that, conventional loans are the easiest to get through. So those are the ones that most sellers will accept over the others.